everyone. Welcome to these Gabby's Dolls and Toys. All right, so I want to tell you guys a little something about me that you may not know. Uh, for years now, I've been wanting to collect calico critters. Um, the little flocked animals with the villages, the houses, the stores, all that stuff. I just think it's so, so cute. Absolutely adorable. And for whatever reason, probably because I'm finding other dolls to buy instead, I never did that. But recently, Walmart came out with a brand that is similar to Calico Critters. Um, the aesthetic's a little different, a little bit more vibrant, I guess you'd say. And the name of that brand is Honeybee Acres, and they are made by a company called Sunny Days Entertainment. And they're absolutely adorable. And the thing is, they are similar to Calico Critters, but they're a little more affordable. Um, and I was lucky enough to get all of this for my collection and I want to unbox it all and share it with you guys. Welcome back, you guys. This is going to be so much fun. Um, I want to be completely honest with you guys. This has been in about a week in the making. I started off with a few things, and I just keep adding to it. Nelson's been coming home with more stuff. So there are two things here. Um, Honeybee Acres started off at, at least over a year ago now. I don't know exactly when they started, but it's been at least a year. I've been doing my research online, and I've been finding videos from a year ago. So it started off with Honeybee Acres, and um, since then it's expanded, and it has a, um, so Honeybee Acres is this little village, and then down the road there is a village called Rainbow Ridge, and that is like a mystical creature kind of village, but they're all within the whole Honeybee Acres universe, um, and of course I, I had to get the Rainbow Ridge stuff too, because I, I couldn't leave them there <laughs> they're just so adorable I love unicorns I love the whole fantasy thing and that's something that calico critters has not done yet so I thought that that was pretty interesting um, and it the thing that I love about this brand is everything is very vibrant the colors are absolutely beautiful um, everything's it's whimsical very very whimsical and another thing um, if I'm being completely honest it's a lot cheaper. This stuff, I when when we start getting into it and I start unboxing things, I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for this stuff and you are not gonna believe it. So we're gonna start off with uh, the original Honey Bee Acres set. And this is a cat family called the Perringtons. The packaging, I you know, I have to show you that. This is so cute. Look at the little window cut out. Absolutely adorable. Um, so it looks like the mom's name is Ella, the dad is Fritz, and then we have Rose and Zoe. First, we're going to meet Ella. She is the mom, and she's really cute, gray and white kitty. She's wearing a little uh, Georgia peach dress, which I love, very cute. A little tail in the back moves. Um, articulation seems to be pretty good. The head moves. The arms are a little, little tight. Um, the legs but she's very very cute now we have Fritz he is the dad and um, he is white mostly white with gray very very cute he's got on some little overalls and um, he's got the white tail in the back and then we have Zoe who is the big sister and her, her dress matches her mom's very cute and um, her little tail moves in the back I think that's so cute the tails and then we have last but not least this is the baby rose it looks like she's wearing just a little pamper very cute these were a really interesting find um, so they are the honeybee acres babies and they come with accessories and you guys are not even gonna believe this these were five dollars a piece so I grabbed four of them I think they're really really cute and I'm gonna show them to you right now Oh my goodness, you guys. These are so cute. I cannot believe that these are $5. They're so cute. They're little babies. They're all articulated. Um, the articulation's not 
perfect but they're really small so considering i think it's i don't think it's bad at all um you know that i got the arms going the heads moving little legs she's um she's in a cute little pamper i think this is a little kitty so this is mimi and mimi comes in a little stroller and um I can tell you that for five dollars the quality of this stroller is really really good you guys and it's very very cute i love the design of this i love this right here the handle um really really cute yeah mimi's cute and then this little one here this is hootie and hootie is in a walker um hootie's really cute i think hootie's a girl too um and these are flocked animals if i haven't already said that um, the walker, I just can't get over the quality for $5. This is really awesome. And then this guy over here, this is Lucky. He's our little unicorn. And um, he's in a wagon. And the wagon moves so good. I can't get over the accessories. I mean, the babies are really cute and everything. But they're tiny. So they're, they're not the best as far as, like, articulation. But the accessories make up for that. Where the babies lack, the accessories come in and save the day absolutely and then we have moo over here and moo has a slide that's cute it's just very very cute awesome i'm very very happy with this i cannot complain about this purchase at all any of these purchases so far i have four more babies to show you from this collection and it's pretty safe to say that this is from the uh, easter edition I have four babies and they all come with baskets and little chocolate bunnies, it looks like. So we have Baby Peep, Baby Waddles, Baby Beanie, and Baby Cottontail. How cute is this, you guys? This is adorable. And these were only $5 each also. So you have your little baby animal and they come with their Easter basket and then they have their little Easter bunny with them. This is just the cutest. This would be a really good little, um, you know, extra little thing to put in Easter baskets this year. Here we have the Sunflower Country Cottage. This is super cute. Um, it says that there are 17 pieces here. I want to show you guys the packaging because this is a really, really pretty box. I love the little window cutouts on the sides. It's adorable. Um, so it says, come visit. Cousin Chloe loves staying in this cozy cottage. Sunflowers are her favorite, so Chloe feels perfectly at home. She can snuggle by the warm fire and sip tea or take a nap anytime she likes. Chloe makes sure she rests up since there's so much to do in Honeybee Acres. Cousin Chloe is very, very cute. I love her pretty dress. She's cute. Little white cat. Cute little tail back there. So she is sitting here in her very pretty big blue chair, sipping on her tea, and she's watching a fire. Um, I like the rug. The rug's really cute. And then upstairs, she has this very, very nice bed. Um, I love the little pillow. I like the flowers on that. Very cute. And she has a toy box with some toys inside. She has a teddy bear and a ball. I like the big windows that they have all over the house. It's very, very cute. They did a really good job with this house. Um, as far as like making it look like there's plants and flowers, all the greenery. And, and I really like all the windows. It's really, really nice. So this is the front of the house. And the big yellow front door. I like the color choices too really nice it's country but it's like it's still very modern sunflowers are so cute and then this is the chimney over here yeah lots of flowers they did a really good job with this this house was $25 and I think that that's pretty amazing considering that it comes furnished and it also comes with a little honeybee acre friend. Now we have the cozy living room, which I'm thinking that we can use some of these pieces in the little cottage. And uh, this honeybee acres cozy living room. These are not real dolls, but it's just to show you how it can look. 
Um, the box is really cute. That's why I'm showing you guys all the boxes. Um, it says, come visit. It's game night and your friends are looking forward to coming over. And your cozy living room is all set for entertainment. You have plenty of room to sit, watch TV, and play lots of board games. It's so warm and inviting. No one wants to go home. So it has 28 pieces. And again, I love the color choices that they, that they chose for the cottage and the set. And this was $10 at Walmart. $10 for all this stuff. How fun. I love this. I love the colors. Very, very vibrant and modern. This is very modern. It says it's a cozy living room, which it is, but it's really modern. So they didn't miss a trick. So there's all kinds of accessories and stuff. I love the, um, the color of the actual furniture. It's really nice. Um, the chair I think is my favorite this chair is really cute and then I love how they have the accent pillows um, the sofa is really nice too I like that color what I'm probably going to do with this stuff is try to get most of it in the cottage but what this was designed for originally was the farmhouse there's a farmhouse that you can get for $50 and it is huge you guys and eventually I'm probably going to end up trying to get it but that's what this was designed for but we're gonna try to get it into the cottage the best we can. Um, this is nice, a little fireplace back here, and it came with really uh, cute accent pieces, the candlesticks, and of course there has to be a portrait of the family because no living room is complete without that. Um, little, just really cute little things, like this little basket that's got a quilt in it. I love the plant back here. The lamp over here. You've got your coffee table with board games and books. And of course your entertainment center over there. And it looks like this actually opens. Let me see, oh it does. Another little plant. It also came with this really cute clock. I'm gonna try to fit that on the wall somewhere. The rug, I love the rug. The rug goes, everything is so well put together in this set. Um, the colors of the rug match with the furniture set, it's really cute. Another thing it came with that I'm not gonna be able to use is these uh, curtains, they're drapes. And again, these were meant for the farmhouse, which I do not have. And then it also came with these little tie backs, which is really neat. Um, maybe someday I'll have a purpose for this, but for right now I don't. But yeah, that's everything. I think it's really cute. For $10, you guys, I paid $10 for this. Amazing. Now we are moving on over to Rainbow Ridge, where everything is bright and pink and purple and pretty and vibrant. Um, we have, I have a family to share with you. I have some of the Rainbow Pals, a baby a few play sets, a vehicle, lots of fun stuff. The first animals that I'm going to introduce you to from Rainbow Ridge are the Daydreamers, and they are a family of unicorns. I love the outfit, so pretty. And that's them on the back, and it looks like the mom's name is Bella, the dad is Finn, and then we have Willa and Baby Twinkle. Here they are out of the packaging. This is Isabella. She is the mom. I love the tie-dye print on their clothes. They, they all seem to have it. Very cute. And they have a little tail in the back. So pretty. Such a cute little doll. One thing I um, have noticed, and I just want to point this out, the uh, articulation is not the best. Um, her head is, is, is kind of tight. And then if you go over here to Finn, it's very loose. Um, it's just not very consistent. And I'm, and I'm finding that with the animals. But I do want to say this entire set only cost me $10. So this is Finn, the dad. Really cute though. Um, and this is Willa. And... This is baby Twinkle. See, so Twinkle's head's very, very loose. And Willa's is kind of tight. Um, I am noticing that with the animals. But keep in mind, this was $10. So um, you, you, you're still getting a very cute little family. Um, other than that, the quality seems to be very good. Baby Nico 
is the only Rainbow Ridge baby that I was able to find, but there are several of them. Um, it looks like there is nine in the back. One, two, three, four, five. No, eight. There's eight in total. Uh, this says, meet Nico. Nico has a big appetite for a baby unicorn. His high chair is his favorite place to be, especially when eating his rainbow cookies. Oh, that's so cute. So I want to get more of these, um, but when Nelson got this one, he was literally the last one left. So I'm going to get him out of the packaging so you guys can take a look at him. Oh, there he is. Baby Nico in his high chair. He's really cute. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at the little tail back there. This is adorable. He was only $5, you guys, and he comes with his very own high chair. You can't beat that. These are the Rainbow Pals. So these are the children of Rainbow Ridge. And he's so cute. I love the outfits. How adorable. We even have a little mermaid cat over here. And uh, it looks like a unicorn puppy, a unicorn panda. Very, very cute. So it says, meet the pals. Today, the pals are playing hide and seek. As Lucy's counting, they all run to find hiding places. Pixie and Aura hide behind a large tree, while Luna, Levi, and Indigo hide behind the sunflowers. Mer Kitty, Coral, runs to the brook with Jasmine and Zeke, but she would rather swim in the water than hide. So this is all of them. We've got Jasmine, Pixie, Luna, Levi, Lucy, Indigo, Coral, Zeke, and Aura. And now we are going to see them out of the package. Here they are, all nine of the Rainbow Pals, and they're really cute. This is a fun series. I love how, I love the outfits, first of all. The rainbow print and the tie-dye prints. Um, everything is so colorful and vibrant. It's really cute. And, and I love how the animals are, you know, um, we've got animals that are half cat, half mermaid. We've got pandas that are unicorns, puppies that are unicorns. It's just a really fun series. There's really no rhyme or reason. It just is what it is, and it works. It's fun. This is Lilac, and she is the Sweet Dreams Pajama Party set. She comes with 15 pieces. Uh, this looks really cute. It says, meet Lilac. Lilac is excited to have her pajama party in her rainbow tent. Lilac can watch movies while eating pizza and popcorn. When she's tired, she can snuggle up with her rainbow pillow and dream sweet dreams. Very cute. I love this. This is so sweet. The colors are, oh my goodness. I keep saying vibrant because I can't think of anything else and that's exactly what it is. The tent, I'm not gonna lie though, this, this was really a pain to put together. Um, it's hard plastic, you know, and it, yeah, it was just a pain. Anyways, uh, this is very cute though. I love it. I, I love the whole rainbow thing. I love these little tassels at the top of the tent. And then Lilac over there, she is, she's got her little sleep mask on. It's so cute how they added that, you know, just a little, just a little something extra to make it look like a sleepover. And she's got her pizza and her popcorn and she's watching a movie. And my favorite thing is this little rainbow pillow. How sweet is that? And you know what, you guys? This whole entire set cost me $8.99. Next, we have Cosmo driving the Flower Groove van. This <laughs> so fun, right? Purple and white. It's, it's got that retro vibe. Um, Cosmo has a retro vibe, actually, too. I believe this seats four. And if you look in the back... We'll find out a little bit more about Cosmo and the van. It says the best way to get around Rainbow Ridge is in the Flower Groove van. Cosmo loves driving the van as well as decorating it with fun designs. Help Cosmo decorate the van in time to pick up his friends. The van holds four and is the perfect ride for any day. See, yeah, four. And yes, it comes with stickers. Very, very fun. I love the boxes so much. Cosmo is a very fun character. I really love his outfit. He's so cool. 
and I like I love the color of him very very pretty one thing that um, I did notice is that his head is very very loose and I'm telling you guys this because I'm being honest um, but I do have to say that this entire set cost me ten dollars Cosmo and the van the van is awesome it's got that 60s vibe and so does he um, but you know and this stuff is plastic it is but the doors swing very very well this door slides which is cool um, and it looks like the back here <gasps> there's cup holders in there too you guys oh my goodness so the back door the trunk we'll say um, opens and closed smoothly there's a little thing on top where you could put something up there like luggage or something but it's got cup holders that is so cool that's really neat um yeah this is cute oh and it says honeybee acres right there on the front yeah this is nice i did not decorate it yet but i plan to um just to save us some time but yeah ten dollars this is a really cute set for ten dollars now we are at crystal's ice cream shop she's pretty i love her i love her color and her outfit so cute I love this whole play set. This is really pretty. So, there are 36 pieces in this set. Um, and I wanted to tell you guys that I paid $19.95, I believe, for this. Um, and, and this is basically like a little mini dollhouse. Um, on the side here, it says watch episodes on YouTube. And I have watched a few episodes. They're, they're fun. They're cute. And then on the back... It tells you a little bit about Crystal. Um, come visit. Friends in Rainbow Ridge love satisfying their sweet tooth at this unique ice cream shop. Choose a flavor and Crystal is happy to scoop her delicious ice cream into cones, dishes, or banana splits. And don't forget to add your favorite toppings from the spinning toppings display. There she is, Crystal in her ice cream shop. This is adorable. Oh my goodness. Very, uh, it wasn't very easy setting everything up. I'm not going to lie. This is designed for little fingers, like children's fingers. Um, because, it, yeah, we probably set this up about four times because everything just kept falling everywhere. But it's cute and it comes with a lot of stuff. And it really does look like a little ice cream shop. I think it's adorable. I love all of the little accent features, like these little cones up here. So cute. And then, you know, you get your little ice cream cone sign here. It's nice. Very colorful. The outside of the ice cream shop is really pretty. I love how there's all kinds of flowers everywhere. All kinds of flowers and then you know of course you've got the tree branches and the um, all the greenery everywhere it's just really really pretty and the pink and the purple together look so nice these windows are really cute too it's got the whole like stained glass look it's faux obviously but but you know what I mean it gives it like it just gives it charm it's very charming now we are at the Sunburst Art Studio, which was the most expensive piece out of everything that you guys saw. This was the most expensive. This was $40, uh, but it looks like it comes with a lot. It has over 50 pieces. It says there is a light-up kiln, a light-up chandelier, and you can spin the potter's wheel. So there's a lot going on here, and it also comes with opal. Our, our little uh, our little animal friend there and it just looks like a lot of fun let's look at the back of the box so that is what the outside is going to look like it says come visit this art studio is as colorful as its stained glass windows opal loves creating under the light up chandelier or baking her pottery in the light up kiln Visit and help rearrange the stained glass panels in the large window. This window is a work of art. After a long day, Opal enjoys taking a nap in her hammock. 
this art studio is wonderful. It really is. Um, I, I love all of it, but one of my favorite things is the chandelier in the middle. Um, it lights up. There's a button up top here that you push and it lights up. And then behind it, you have your stained glass windows. I love how there's windows from the ceiling to the floor. Um, it gives it that true studio feeling, you know, with the high ceilings and the openness. Um, over in the corner up top is where she paints. And she has her canvas. She has her little paint brushes in, in the cups on the side. And it's so cute that they have her sitting on a little tree stump. So she's got, you know, nature inside the studio with her, which is all, always great. And speaking of that, there there's lots of trees and flowers and plants and so much going on. The cutest thing to me, though, to be honest, is the paint splatters on the floor. That just puts it over the top. That's absolutely adorable, adorable. And um, and she's cute too. Let's look at Opal for a minute. She's really cute. There's so much going on here, you guys. Um, over on the other side, there is a kiln where she does her pottery. And if you open the door, you'll see that there's a light on. And then if you want to shut the light off, you shut the door. So basically, it shows you that when you open it, it's working. Up above, there is a hammock that she can rest on when she's done making her masterpieces. I want to, uh, oh, and there's a sink over in the corner. And um, the doors actually open and close on the bottom. I guess there's some storage under there that you could use. You actually could put something in there if you wanted to. So fun I love how the trees are inside the studio so it's like nature is inside that's just a really really fun uh, feature and now I want to show you guys the outside I want you to see what it looks like from the outside there's so much detail on the outside so this is what the uh, what the glass windows look like from the outside and my favorite part of the out the exterior is the flowers the flowers running up the, the walls of the studio um, you know and they're even there it looks like there's a vine growing up the side where the kiln is and if you look on the side of the house over here there are tons of wild flowers growing and this is adorable too. So this is basically like a little, um, I guess it serves as a little sign to let you know that this is an art studio. They did a good job with this piece. Uh, for $40, I think that you really get a lot. I think there's a, a lot of detail put into this. Um, I don't, I honestly don't see any flaws. The stained glass panes were a little difficult but not really and one thing I want to say about everything that we've seen so far is taking out of the packages was so easy like easier than anything that I've done lately as far as unboxing so yeah that's important that is everything you guys this was a lot of fun it took a few hours to get through everything and um, I really enjoyed it I am for the most part, I would say 95% pleased with with this line. Um, Honeybee Acres is so adorable, it really is. Um, this is the first time that I've ever bought toys like this. You know, I like I said, I've always wanted to get calico critters of baby and families, but I never have. I've seen little woodsies at Target, and I always thought they were cute, and I just never did it. So this is the first my first experience with this kind of toy line and um it it was a good one a really really good one we already know because i've been telling you through the whole video <laughs> the value 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 um nine dollars 9.99 for a family of four you know um figures is a phenomenal deal 
ten dollars for the vehicle with a, with a figure in it phenomenal deal twenty five dollars for a dollhouse with furniture i mean the the value is just unbelievable the only quality issue that i saw was um the heads and, and you know the articulation was a little weird um some of the some of them the heads were really loose some were really tight but when you take all of that and put it all together this this is a phenomenal deal if that's the only issue i found opening all of this we're doing good so yes uh sunny days entertainment good job really really good job i'm definitely going to be buying more of this stuff um i'm i'm really excited because i'm going to be putting like a little village together and it's going to be kind of like what you're seeing here just in a different spot and uh yeah i i this was a this was fun this was a good experience and um you can get these at walmart and you can also get it on amazon um, those are the two places that I've seen them so far. I think they were originally made for Walmart, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. But, yeah, it was great. I, I like them. I'm, I'll be doing this again, and, um, hopefully when I do it again, you guys will watch. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about all this, and, um. I'll see you guys next time.